Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek News. I'm here with Matt Hyra from Cryptozoic Entertainment looking at NHL Power Play team building deck game. Team building card team game. Team building card game. Card yes. game. Yes. Um, for the Gen Con the crowd, yes, it is a deck building game. For the NHL crowd, it's a team building game. Because they know what that means. They know what that means. That is so true. Uh, this is a game built on the Cerberus engine, okay. but it is uh, there's a couple of very the big differences. It's a little simplified in the effects a little bit, uh, and a thing another thing is cards don't have individual victory points. The way that you score is by taking a shot on goal. So it makes perfect sense. That's right. So you end up with hockey scores at the end of the game like four to three. You know, okay. pretty beautiful. Um, everyone gets to play as a team captain, so you got uh, Sidney Crosby over there, and I got uh, Dion Phaneuf, and uh, so basically the, the goalies in our sweet little goalie thing here, you've got to overcome their defense rating. Now if you want to risk taking a shot on goal, I have a chance to play, or the other players each have a chance to play one defender to add to the goalie's defense rating. Okay. And then you play all your cards and see if you can overcome that total. Okay. So if you want to take a look at your hand, um, you're looking pretty good. I would say risk it. What do you think? If I don't want to risk it, then what if do I do? If you don't want to risk it, you buy cards from the center ice over here and that will add, continue to add to your deck. You have a couple of attackers. They do really well during shot on during a shot on goal. All right. And a couple passes. Yep. And power is both for shots on goal and for correct. Acquiring. It's for Acquiring. buying things. The uh, the price to buy a card is down here in the lower left. That's also the 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 cost to you know the the power required to beat the goalie. Okay. All right. So let's say we're gonna take a shot. Great. When you want to okay. take a shot, you announce that at the very beginning of your turn. Now you can't buy anything out of center ice. Okay. You grab the puck, okay. and now I have a chance to play a defender, and I will play a defender, and that is going to add one to the goalie's total. I also get to draw a card from my deck. All right? And But then I have to discard a card as well. Oh, all right. So there you go. I get the defense. See that little defense right there? Defense. That's the bonus I get. All right. Okay. Now you got to beat a 10. So go ahead. This guy is 2, and you get to draw a card. So go ahead and draw from your deck. And you got another one. This one, no power, but draw two cards. So you're still at... He's an assist. He's an assist, basically, around, yep. Yes. All right, and now you have, you may destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. You can get rid of that penalty. Now, penalties are pretty fun in that uh, if you ever get two of them in your hand at once, you lose the rest of your turn. You okay. basically, you got a, you got a little... Just the uh, risk from continuing to draw. From getting a lot, of, a lot of draws if you've been committing a lot of penalties. All right, All right so so got rid of that from your hand. Uh, and then that wasn't the first card, so that's two, so you're at four power. Okay. That's five, play the top card of your deck. If it's a maneuver, you keep going. It's not, but you're at six power, draw a card. And you put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck so you can put your defender on top. And then you can do him, draw two cards. So you're at two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, oh, you got it. Now, even though you... Well, actually, you can't buy any cards. You succeeded in your right. shot on goal. But so I don't know, does your hand carry over from turn no, to turn? No, you got to discard right. everything. So once you hit that total, you might want to stop drawing cards because if you accidentally draw a penalty, that ends your turn. So there you go. You get that goal, and you put that goal under there, and that's how we keep score. Okay. All right, just like that. And continue until the goalie deck is gone? Correct, or? correct. And they, they get uh, a little bit more difficult as time goes on and the quality of the goalie goes up as well. Okay. So if you know how to play uh, DC, your Street Fighter, Naruto, you already know how to play this, but it's really it's a little simplified and not as much counting at the end should appeal to the hockey fans. Two player only? No, it's actually... So it's a little weird with, with the four player, but you can imagine it. You can it play... Well. one. It's great one-on-one. -on -one. Three player, uh, you play with eight goalies so it's less likely to have a tie you, know, you can be three three two but that's not as likely um, but we really like the 2v2 team game so that's also a great way to do it okay thanks for the overview all righty